we the first item was to set the tax rate. Those three, I'm going to explain what we got here. Um, the municipal grand list is $230,938,000. It's gone down last year from 80, it went down 81300 Can I have a copy of that? Yeah, you should have a copy there. Sure. Uh, these are the two we got to sign, right? He's like one of them. Okay. Um, the budget with the articles, the tax rate is 0.8325, and the adjustments for the school taxes. For one lodge and veterans exemptions over ten thousand dollars is 0. 0.0043. So that comes to a tax rate of 0. 0.8368. And that's about a penny more than last year. The good news is the school tax rate is going down by three cents. Any thoughts why our green list drop? Ma Transco. Um, on the um, Cambridge side, they had quite a bit of up their lines that they thought were not and were actually in Cambridge. So oh. their value went down significantly. So Cambridge benefits from that. Okay. Uh, I guess what's the board's pleasure? I look for a motion to set the tax rate at 0.8368. Motion, do we have a second? A second. Motion, second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. We have a tax rate. And everybody needs to sign it. Uh, the second item was an update on the uh, welcome center. So for the welcome center, uh, we've been able to make a few changes to the scope and uh, firm up pricing for those items. And we have a revised budget that we are confident on. Uh, so what this is, is that the reduced scope of work we can complete for uh, under $33,000. And you've been in contact with the... Uh... Yes, uh, the uh, Deborah Alexander has seen the reduced scope of work um, and is comfortable with it. Uh, you know, she hopes that we'll complete the rest of the project, but she understands that, you know, it, what we can get done uh, by August on budget, you know, that, that we have, that we have to eliminate quite a bit. Okay. Is there understanding that someday we would go back, come back to it and finish it, what the original plan was, or? We will continue, uh, you know, to pursue additional funding sources. And there may be a re request to the town for specific funds in the future, but it will be for specific funds to complete you know, a specific part of this, uh, but we will be, you know, completing this at, you know, kind of on budget and on time. Um, it will, you know, there are a few items in here that we hope that we might be able to add back in, like the electrical service uh, and some landscaping around the, the project, but the, the most important thing was a, Scope of work that we could get done in time and have defined costs for. So, everything that either we couldn't get a firm number on or we could afford to cut, everything else got removed from uh, the scope of work that we went over with uh, the Alexanders. So, does this reduce their contribution? At this time, we have not asked them to reduce their contribution. Um, you know, but there is the understanding that we will be attempting to fund and 
complete the rest of the project over time, but that it will not be completed in time for their visit. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Um, yes. So when you talk about the additional things later, you're talking about the town funding those or something else, or you just don't know? A certain amount of it would be uh, presumably with the remainder of the Alexander's fund that we can refund them a certain amount of the money or we can use their money to do some of the parts. Uh, we are also uh, in, in conversation right now with uh, Senator Sanders' office about include, including uh, improvements to Old Mill Park as part of, uh, they're not calling them earmarks, but it's uh, funding that's directed by our representatives. So we might be able to get a little bit more funding for that, but that's another one that's going to come in hopefully by the end of summer, maybe even later than that. It's not gonna come in on time. Um, and yes, I imagine that uh, it would probably also include some request to the town for other future specific parts for this. Uh, that even, you know, we can afford this reduced scope of work, but if we do want to, eventually fill out the entire project to its original scope of work, we'll, we will need more money than the $45,000 that was pledged by the Alexanders to complete that project. Uh, but this, we can afford this, we can do it on time, and it's acceptable to the Alexanders. I said one more question. Um, the engineering and admin was not originally estimated and was not part of original scope. No, it was, it was not. volunteer time, from my understanding. Um, is that something where the town is deciding that? The Alexanders are deciding that? Like, where does that do, do we need to worry about that? I believe that it's a legitimate cost for uh, what is there, but it was not part of the original scope of work. So the, the request is before you of adding that to kind of our approved expenses. To the request is to the town? Yes. We're managing and, and dispersing the funds. So I, I think that request is to the town. So that probably means a formal motion to change the, the scope of the project. Uh, that is Senator Sanders' office you, communications. Yeah. And uh, Senator Leahy is now uh, chair of appropriations for the Senate. So. I hope to have something working with Leahy's office also. Okay. But Sanders is reached out to us. Has reached out to us and has shown the most interest. Okay. Senator Sanders was part of the original appropriation that got the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail going in the first place. So he has a certain amount of attachment to other improvements that kind of capitalize on that existing investment. So he's taken some interest in uh, the, our welcome center. Okay, so if there's no further questions, I'll entertain a motion to add in authorizing the expenditures for the engineering administrative costs. They've already been spent. They have not been spent yet. Uh, that the amount that has been accrued at this point, but it was not an approved expense when the select board approved the original budget for this. So it's we haven't paid anything out for it, the engineering administrative costs, but that's kind of how much work we've accumulated if that is a, a I think to Evan's point, it's in the spent call. It, it is, and I'm, I apologize for that being a little confusing, but that's, uh, yeah, uh, that was just how I, I chose to represent it and, and noted it. Uh, but that, that's where money has gone so far is just, it is just in the materials but there's also the request for time that has been spent on the project already. That again, wasn't originally an approved expense. Okay. Um, 
it was originally volunteer time uh, due to uh, in large part to how difficult it has been to secure contractors and sourcing materials and that we've gone back and made quite a few changes to it uh, like to get the scope of, to, to change the scope of work uh, some of our original design uh, changes that we requested early on it's really it has been considerably more time than was uh, volunteered at the beginning of the project that, that Howard had volunteered thinking that this was a much smaller number of hours would be required. It's worth pleasure. I'm not interested in making a motion. I don't know why. Lack of motion. How do we allocation of money for administrative costs? Unless they can bring forward some strong argument. I'd like to, I mean, I feel like our first obligation is to the Alexanders and because we entered into this contract with them to finish this project under this amount of money, under this timeline. That's a, a hard commitment that we've made. They've been really generous with us and agreeing to reduce the event, the scope of work without reducing the, the uh, donation. So I, I feel like we need to get that done first before we can Fulfill this request. And maybe the Alexanders would entertain some of their donation because we're not going to be spending it all. They may want to reallocate it. Well, I'm hoping that, I mean, my hope is that this gets done by the end of July and we can start adding in some of these things. Um, picnic tables, I mean, a lot of this is. is um, Sort of landscaping and secondary things, um, information displays, etc. So I mean, I can see that we could easily spend forty-five. And this the other thing with this thirty-two number, thirty-two to eighty-five, is that it's been a moving target all along. So I don't. I mean, that's the best estimate that we can have right now today, but. We know that these costs have been really tough to pin down. So until we actually get the invoices and pay them, uh, we really won't know what that is going to be. If it will be closer to 45. So, okay. Um, will this keep moving then? Project keeps moving. Okay. Any other discussion about this? Um, the only thing I guess I want to say publicly, since this is public, is that if we pay somebody for their volunteered hours in retrospect, uh, we're setting a pretty bad precedent. So I personally can talk about how many hours I've spent for the town happily uh, and for our community, but if I had gone back and asked for money afterward, I don't think the board would have been very happy. <laughs> Okay. All right. So our back hope is currently out of commission. Um, we've had an ongoing problem, and it looks like we've isolated it to the wiring cards. Um, and the, the recommendation is to replace the entire wiring harness, which is going to uh, the labor on it is going to be the most expensive part because it requires taking off the cab and kind of really getting through the whole, the whole machine. Um, but we've evaluated replacing the, the vehicle early and we don't think that it's the, the, that's a good investment. So that's kind of where we're at. But that'll be out of commission for a few weeks. We're going to make the replacement. Uh, it's going to run in the order of you know, close to ten thousand dollars for repairs. Uh, and the damage was expected or was done by mice. I believe so. Know a little bit more once we actually start taking things out, but 
uh, they believe that damage was the damage to the wiring was caused by uh, being chewed through and causing shorts. And this is stored in the cold storage room. This one gets moved back and forth a little bit depending on what we're doing, but it's most often in cold storage. So we're transporting mice. We we could be. Um, we're not aware of any related or similar problems in the garage. Uh, the, the garage has traps out and we occasionally catch mice, but it's not. Okay, that was going to be my question. Not in any great number or, or anything that I would think is unusual for a, an old steel building. Is there any opportunity to rent somewhere if we need one? We should be able to get one from Army Dark. I haven't checked on specific availability, but I don't, depending on how long this takes, uh, I don't know that we'll need to rent a replacement. What's that due for trade? 2024. And we had cost estimates on the replacement and think that it's, given how much this is going to cost, uh, the reduced trade in we would get for trading in a non functional backhoe, everything else, we don't think it's worth trying to trade it in right now. Uh, we think that making the repairs is the best course. So it's unusually expensive repairs, but uh, still worth it. That's part of doing business. We take years with the greater. Yeah. And occasionally we can get lucky with something. This one, I doubt it. Uh, just the nature of the replacement has has to get into so many different parts of the equipment and do so much work that I don't think we're going to find a shortcut anywhere. Okay. Anybody have any further questions? Brian? If not, are there any further items to bring up? We stand adjourned at 5.15. Now go to 15.00.